Premier's, uh, Premier Station will pr preview albums before they are released. Pandora is releasing another tier to their service called Pandora Premieres. That's their next tier, and this will allow you, rather than uh, waiting until the album is released and then you hear it then, this service, according to CNET, this Pandora service now lets you listen to albums before it's released. It's called the Pandora Premiere Channels and will uh, it's going to be released and refreshed every week with new artists and new uh, stars coming up, singers, uh, every week. Now, um, uh, if you're dying to listen to you know, new albums before they come on sale, you, know, you, might, you, know, you want to test it before you go out there and buy it, Pandora, the music streaming site and app that we've just been talking about this week, launched Pandora Premieres. It's a station on Pandora that allows listeners to preview upcoming albums up to a week before they are released. Now, you know, um, Sony had been talking about trying to buy some of the, not Sony, Apple, had been trying to buy some of the major music players they are, uh, that like Sony, and um, Time Warner trying to buy some of the major music players that Pandora is hooked up with to get them to come to iCloud by offering them different royalties and stuff like that. And Pandora has been a leader in the um, music streaming now for a while. And now uh, they're launching this pre um, Pandora premieres that allows you to listen to an album, a brand new album, up to a week before their release. The company said it will feature previews from a wide variety of, app, of artists, both established and emerging across multiple genres. Now, the Pandora Premiere will be updated weekly with new releases. Users can choose to hear any track on a featured album, so it's not just limited to two songs or whatnot, the, the, the songs the artist wants you to hear. You can listen to any track on the featured album in any order and as many times as you want for the time period the album is available on the station. Because remember, it's only going to be available up to a week before. So let's say an album is due to come out next Wednesday and Pandora decides to put the album up uh, on Saturday. So from Saturday to Wednesday, you can listen to all the songs as many times as you want. Obviously, you won't be able to download it or anything like that. But you can listen to it as many times as you want uh, uh, in any order for as long as the album is on that station and some artists will also offer additional exclusive content such as video interviews and stuff like that. Now the album uh, debuting uh, this Tuesday include artists uh, from classic rock and folk music genres in, uh, including John Fogerty uh, who wrote the song Everyone and Laura uh, Marling Once I Was an Eagle. Those are songs that's coming out. Uh, uh, that came out this Tuesday, so if you, not came out, coming out uh, Tuesday, so if you want to listen to uh, Pandora Premiere, go to Pandora, uh, the Pandora, um, you have the Pandora app, they now release this new station called Pandora Premieres, which allows you to listen to these new albums, uh, the whole thing, until the album is released. Once the album is released, then they're going to take it down, and of course, you know, you don't have that uh, you can't listen to it in terms of um, uh, anytime you want or anything like that. It would have to be on the station uh, that Pandora has. But if you want to know, if you want to buy upcoming albums or you want to download it or stuff like that, this is definitely a good service that Pandora is coming up with. The Pandora Premiere, I mean, because Pandora has had a lot of challenges, lots of challenges with um, I, I, um, iMusic, iTunes, trying to lure away a lot of Pandora's biggest, ba biggest backers. But coming up with something like this that allows people to listen to their favorite artists, you know, uh, especially if they're coming out with a debut album, to check and see if they, this is an album they want to download or they want to pay for, and you can listen to it as much times as you want. Oh, yeah. Pandora is definitely speaking the, the language of the, um, of the consumer. So... Um, and, and, uh, and companies like Google and other companies like that that have a $9.99 uh, per month uh, mobile uh, service. Twitter also launched their music discovery app and stuff like that. Pandora is definitely doing what it needs to do to um, um, keep up in the world today. So we, we're going to come back after a break and we're going to talk more on Tech Pulse about what's going on. So just stay tuned. We will be right back.
Preview. Preview. And we are back in the studio once again, and we're back with Tech Pulse talking all the news that you need to make sure that you are at the top of the tech world as far as um, knowledge, information, and uh, uh, information dealing with the latest stories happening in the tech world. Now, I know many of you out there. You know, you like to travel with your music, you know, you like to uh, listen to music on the go. But a lot of times when we get where we're going and say like a friend's house or you're at that party or you're, you're, you're somewhere where you want to listen to your music outside of your headphones. You just want to sit down. You don't want to have things in your ears or over your ears or stuff like that. You just want to listen to your music and be able to, you know, get the most out of it. Well, ultimate ears has come out with the UE Boom Bluetooth speaker. They unveiled it uh, this week, and these speakers have been designed to provide 360 degree sound from a wireless carry anywhere speaker that can connect easily to any Bluetooth enabled device. Now, uh, the new uh, UE or Ultimate Air's Boom speakers have a range of about 50 meters, you know, uh, I measure only 4.06 by 4.06 by 10.06 inches. So we're talking 4 inches by 4 inches by 10 inches high. That's it. And the internal lithium-ion rechargeable battery is good for up to 15 hours of playback on a single charge. Another great feature of the um, Ultimate Air's UE Boom speaker is its ability ability to wirelessly connect two UE Boom uh, uh, speakers together in stereo via the UE Boom app that they have. Now, uh, it's available for purchase for around uh, $200 according to reports, but if you're looking for a good set of speakers, because I mean, you know, a lot of times we have, uh, you know, you have uh, parties you want to go to, or you're in an area, let's say you're at the park, you know, and you carry your music with you, you're at the park or you're at the beach or something like that, and you're saying, you know, you want to be able to um, carry your music with you, but a lot of times, you know, you have these little speakers, you know, they can't do anything. This is the, uh, this is the uh, unit right here. You're looking at the unit right there, that black uh, thing right here, that's the unit, you know, and uh, a lot of times, let me try and enlarge that a bit. A lot of times, you know, you're at the beach and you, you want to be able to listen to your sound or you, you go to a, like a park or something like that and you want to be able to listen to music without having your headphones on. You just want to sit back and just listen to something. You know, the things in your ears, you don't want to do that. This thing gives you 360 degrees of sound, so they say, you know, so... Uh, this is trouble. So, you know, and a range of up to 50 meters. This thing is only 4 inches by 4 inches by 10 inches high. It has powerful sound, and you can daisy chain two of them I'm, together. I'm partial to that thing, though. If you, want to hear, you want to hear my comment? Go ahead. What, what, what you got to say you, about this so. comment you, right here? Listen, just imagine me on the beach. Right. I got, what, what is this, 360 sound. Right. And it's blasting. Right. And my neighbors got one too. <laughs> and they're blessed. Right, right. And the other neighbor, like 20 yards down, right. got one too. Got one too. And we're blasting. Right. How 
on earth, <laughs> will we be able to hear anything that's going on? You know, no, I like it. Right, I like right. It. But I know there are people out there without discretion. Right. Always going to abuse care. the system. They, they always have to be the loudest one on the block. They always have, have to be the one playing their music. Right. Nobody else gets a chance. Right. Like they're playing their music. Okay, but that's it. I like the idea. <laughs> There's always going to be somebody out there trying to beat the system. As you say, or some punk. Some punk out there that's trying to get over on the system and doesn't want to play by the rules like everyone else. But this is a good, especially if you have a, a big backyard maybe or something like that. And you want to have some music out there, you know, you don't, maybe you don't have a sound system outside in your yard. You want to have something that's good, that's going to fill your backyard with, with music for that party, for that you know, entertainment. And this thing hooks up to any Bluetooth enabled device. So your iPhone, your Android phone, Blackberry phone, anything that has Bluetooth on it. If you have playlists of songs on your iPhone or on your Android device that you want to use, this thing right here can connect to it and you can daisy chain up to two of them wirelessly using the, uh, uh, using the UE Boom app that comes with this thing online. So if you're looking for something, this is around uh, $200. If you're looking for some good speaker, now these things aren't um, waterproof or shockproof or anything like that. So you're gonna have to treat them like regular speakers. But at the same time, the sound quality that they're promising out of this is definitely something that if you are looking for that next level, you will definitely not be disappointed in the Ultimate Airs UE Boom Bluetooth speaker that uh, they uh, unveiled earlier this week. Now, speaking of, of uh, uh, cutting edge technology, many of you know that Leap Motion is supposed to debut next month. Leap Motion is supposed to debut next month. They're coming out. And, uh, you know, because they were delayed, they were supposed to be out already, but they, they got delayed. Well, Leap Motion released a video that you can watch on their Leap Motion site, on the Leap Motion website. They released a video that shows that this thing is now compatible with Windows. That's right, the Leap Motion small gesture controller has just been created to allow you to control your PC via motion and not just your PC with the accuracy of, they say, one one hundredth of a millimeter so it can detect all the little finger movements with ease and fluidity. And that's really the key. But that's not the big thing. The big thing is in a promotional video they came out with and they put that video you know, on their website, the Leap Motion has been shown because they're getting ready for launch now. They have shown that it is compatible with the latest version of Windows 8. In this video, they showed the person swiping tiles. They showed the person using maps with their fingers, making it large, small, doing all kinds of different things. I'm telling you, this thing is ready for the prime time. Now, when you watch the video, the, the demonstration reveals the Leap Motion 3D gesture control functions on, the wind, on a Windows computer. According to uh, someone from Leap Motion, they say you'll be able to browse the web, interact with your computer just by moving your hands and fingers in the air. With Leap Motion technology and Windows, you can do everything that's possible with a multi-tool 